main bout. Fifteen rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing the world heavyweight champion from Livermore, California, Max Bear. His opponent, the man who in the last year made the greatest comeback in ring history, James J. Braddock of Jersey City. Either one of you happen to go down, the other one goes to the father's corner. Now shake hands, come out and fight him, and give you punch. No, 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 so final instructions from referee Johnny McAvoy as the fighters go back to their corners as first defense for Max Bear, James Braddock. As the ring announcer was saying, a comeback man, and he lands the first purposeful punch of the fight. Max Bear, who's developed something of a playboy image over the last year really is a very very strong favorite indeed for this contest the feeling is that the champion has the power and he certainly has the poise maybe though he's just underestimated this man james braddock and a big crowd turned out at the long island bowl braddock on the left hand side of your picture Slightly the taller man, the lighter man as well. Weighed in at 13 stone, 11 and 3 quarters. Max Bear, 14 stone, 13 and a half. Oh, good right hand from Braddock. Well, Bear poses, postures as much as to say it didn't hurt, but that was a good, solid, clubbing right hand from the challenger. Braddock, incidentally, with a slight height and reach advantage. Braddock, a local man, born in the Hell's Kitchen area of New York, now based out of New Jersey. Quite opening to the fight, and it has to be said that Bear hasn't done too much so far. Faints to throw the left to the head and follows up with a left hook to the body, and in the end comes off the worse for it. Braddock just patiently going about his work. And the end of an opening round, few boos amid the cheers. And for my money, Braddock does enough to win it. Round two, of course, scheduled to go 15 rounds, the championship distance. Max Bear with the star of David on the far side of the ring, the left side of your picture now. In his 48th professional fight, 40 wins as against seven defeats. Good solid shot again from Braddock. No respecter of reputation, body shots from Bear, who incidentally said uh, when they made they just signed the poor guy's death warrant. Well, no sign of that so far as Braddock again comes on strong. Braddock coached and taught in this sport by Joe Jeanette, one of the leading heavyweights of the early years of the century professional for around about 10 years and you can see he's a well-schooled fighter originally a light heavyweight stepped up and uh, had a couple of bad defeats at the beginning of the 1930s looked as though he was uh, going absolutely nowhere but three good wins in the last year and you can see him once again the confidence as he's putting together his punch as well in this second round There's a lethargic look to Bear's work at this stage. Obviously feels he has the knockout punch. Contemptuously hitches up his shorts at the end of the second, but it's another round to Braddock. Come on, Max, is the cry from the crowd. 
Bears done plenty of posturing and clowning. Not thrown too many meaningful punches so far. The champion on the far side of the ring. Max Bear, born in Nebraska, but brought up in Livermore, California. Stalking Braddock, looking to unleash those bombs. And Braddock at the moment, the only man doing any meaningful scoring. Bear, very much the self-styled glamour boy. Been performing in nightclub reviews over the last year. body shots from Bear again that jab a scoring shot from Braddock The fighter troubled by the power of the opponent so far. Braddock just doing a bit more work. Picking Bear off with the jab and the right over the top, and that gets a roar of acclaim from the crowd. looking very sluggish as he moves into range and again a pretty poor round from the champion so Braddock ahead in this fight the challenger on the right hand side of your picture Boos from the crowd, Bear salutes them, as much as to say sorry. Amazing to think that James Braddock was living on welfare only a year or two ago. having to split them as Bear again tries to get inside and work away to the body. Go on, Jimmy, is the shout as Braddock lands with a good solid hook to the body. And Bear's got to get back to his boxing. Braddock not doing anything too spectacular, but just doing enough. Well, a bit of the old pro there from Braddock as he tied Bear up inside and spun away off the ropes out of danger. Well, another pretty poor round. There were boos from the crowd at the end of the fourth. They'd like to see a little bit more meaningful action. Bear, contemptuous about Braddock's abilities, just holding his left arm out more as a measuring stick than a jab. But he's not earning any sort of credit by just posturing. He's got to throw punches. Nothing at all from Bear. Max Bear, only 26, by four years the younger man, the fresher fighter, you would have thought, but at the moment he certainly doesn't look that way. And he's moaning to the referee about some work from Braddock inside, maybe a bit of work with the head from the challenger. Braddock totally outboxing Max Bear. Bear going flailing in, trying to throw the big right hand. 
But Braddock slipping it well, getting inside and not giving Bear room to open up and then replying with interest. Braddock certainly lightly regarded by the Bear camp. Max Bear had a hand injury in training. Booze again at the end of the fifth round. And Bear starts with a good solid left to the solar plexus. Oh, good work from Braddock, though. And at last, the crowd get a little bit of toe-to-toe -to -toe action to cheer on. Max Baer, the champion, must surely know now that he's behind on the card. Snappy jab from Braddock. Baer just pours with his left hand, then tries to throw the clubbing right hand. And Braddock sees it coming a mile off. The body shot from Braddock. You could hear that right hand thud home into the rib cage. Oh, good right hand again. They're not stunned by it. Taunting Braddock as he comes forward, but another round, I think, to the challenger. Hoots of derision again at the end of the sixth, now into the seventh. Max Bear hasn't really been able to unleash the power shot so far. The punches which put down the feared Primo Carnera. Body shot from Bear. Braddock wanted a little bit of help from the referee in there. And solid right hand from the champion. Oh, and that's a good right. Good short right hand, and Braddock's in trouble. He was wobbled by that. It was the short right hand which did the damage. And now can Max Bear finish him off? Bear's going looking to end this. Braddock trying to buy time, trying to get in close. And has Max Baer missed his opportunity? James Braddock still looking a bit unsteady, but a good right hand from the challenger. Well, Baer now knows he can hurt his man. It wasn't one of those big, long, telegraphed right hands which did the damage. It was a sweet right hand which travelled no more than 18 inches. Well, Braddock's rode out the storm. Max Bear taps him on the shoulder by way of acknowledgement. And let's take another look at that right hand from Bear. That was the one which did the damage. And Bear, you can see, going looking for the finish. Braddock in big trouble at this stage, but the old pro, 83 fights behind him, managed to buy the time and to ride out the storm. Round eight of this World Heavyweight Championship fight from New York. Well, that's play acting from Bear. Showing the crowd and Braddock that he wasn't hurt one jot. But more often than not, when fighters do that, it means they are hurt. And Bear may be clowning, but Braddock knew that he got through and he's done it again. You get the impression that Braddock, having rode that storm in round seven might just now be gaining in confidence and realizing that against all the odds this just might be his night
again, nothing with that left hand from Bear. No more than an irritant to Braddock, a measuring stick, if you like, for Max Bear. But no good doing it if you don't follow up with a decent right hand. Maybe that training injury is stopping Bear stepping in. Braddock picking him off as he comes forward now. Good crisp headshots. Bear flailing away, but starting to look tired. Eighth round. And there was the right hand from Braddock. Bear clowning, suggesting he wasn't hurt at all. Well, it might amuse some people, but I'm sure that James Braddock doesn't mind one bit. Into the ninth. There, trying to draw Braddock in so he can land that big right hand. Although we've not seen too much evidence of the bare knockout punch for the last couple of rounds or so. Maybe that big effort in the seventh. Maybe a little bit of damage. corner urging him forward come on Max but no real sign of world championship form from the champion so far messy tangles no real meaningful shots being thrown inside of use of the head from Braddock. See Braddock boring forward. And it's starting to get a little bit rough in close. Braddock staying right in Bear's face, not giving him any opportunity to launch the big right hook. Again, just picking the champion off, then working away inside. Bell goes to end the round. Into the tenth. Now, if James Braddock can just find the self-belief, is he going to become the world champion? the age of 29 the Cinderella man a real rags to riches story they're finding the target but no great power in those shots just arm punches from the champion cuffing Braddock and then way off target with the right hand over the top. There with that idiosyncratic movement of hitching up his shorts. Bear simply is just not doing enough. Again, the head of Braddock in close. Good right hand to the body from Bear. Bear on the far side of the ring. Another good solid body shot right on the bell. Well, the crowd certainly want to see more action than they've had so far. there just pushing towards Braddock with that open glove the referee really should do something about that and at last the action starts to warm up there maybe has been told by his corner look Max you've really got to do something about this 
and there's a greater purpose now to the champions work Beth thinks to throw the right hand and again thinks twice about it adds to the belief that maybe he's carrying an injury Left hook from Braddock. Braddock goes boring in with the head. Smart right over the top from the challenger, and again the clash of heads. There's talking to Braddock in there. Bell goes to end the close around. And Bear maybe did enough to take that one. Solid right hand from Braddock. And again. And is the title slipping away from Max Bear? Measures his man with that left hand again, still doesn't throw the right. When he does to the body there, just more of an arm punch than anything else. And Braddock able to pick him off with combinations. Left hand again from Braddock. Oh, good shot from the challenger. of an air of desperation about uh, the work of Max Bear. Bear talking to Braddock's corner. But it's not enough and Braddock like a man inspired. Big shots right on the bell. Let's see again there's plenty of bumping and boring with heads. Left hand from Braddock. Bear coming back, trying to plant that right hand. Only a glancing blow, and Braddock comes back, replying with interest. Two or three solid shots to the head. Good body shot from Bear. Fierce exchange there. Bear again and again, hammering away at the body. But Braddock is fighting like a man inspired. Round 13. Bear must know now he needs three big rounds. But it's Braddock who again is forcing the pace. Bear the heavier man. More well-muscled man, but he's not been able to make his power tell so far. Cries of, come on, Jimmy boy, now, urging on Braddock. Scoring shots again from Braddock. Left-right combination. They're still doing plenty of posing in there and unable to sustain the action for three-minute bursts. Really makes you wonder about his preparations for this contest. Braddock not doing anything too spectacular, but just doing enough. So two rounds to go. And Max Bear now surely needs to find a knockout to turn this round. 
ponderous, lethargic performance from the champion in his first defence. Solid right hand from Bear. And again. Solid shots once again. And Bear may be realising that the title slipping away from him is really going for broke. Trying to tee off the big right hand. Just off target with that bear, allowing his gloves to hang low. Some of the crowd away back thought that bear was in trouble, but it was only a glancing blow. And Braddock content now to get inside and just try and mess the champion around. Bear a little bit disconsolately goes back to his corner. See again some of the action from that 14th round. Good right uppercut from Bear. There was the right hand over the top. Not a clean connection from Braddock. And no suggestion that Bear was in trouble. When Bear tries to fight back, Braddock's in close, tying him up. So the 15th and final round. Braddock tying Bear up inside, the head coming in as well, referee keeping a close look at it, and Bear complaining to the referee, and the referee says, never mind that, get in there. Johnny McAvoy, an experienced man between the ropes, won't take any of Max Bear's nonsense. A lot of head work again, though, from Braddock. Bear's got to find the big shot. Braddock knows it, and that's why he's in close. Time to prevent the champion getting any sort of leverage on his danger punches. And Braddock just may be closing in on the title. Bear throwing the more punches, but there's a flailing desperation about it. Can Max Bear find the big shot? Oh, that's a good solid right hand, and another one. Oh, and he's staggered. Braddock is caught by two good lefts and a right cross. The first time since the seventh round. James Braddock's legs momentarily stiffened, but is it too late? Two very tired men just leaning on now. Oh, good right hand from Braddock. Bear takes it well. And Braddock may be, as the two embrace, may be he's pulled off one of the great comeback stories of all time. Max Bear makes his way back to his corner disconsolately, and certainly the Braddock corner think that their man is the new champion of the world. Shortly we'll hear the deliberations of the judges from our Master of Ceremonies tonight, and here now comes the verdict. The winner... And you have 
So the celebrations begin. Braddock's won it. Max Bear failing in his first defence. And James J. Braddock from New Jersey, aged 29 in his 84th professional fight, is champion of the world.